Hey guys, in this video I'd like to share how it works and talk a little bit about the challenges of making something this small. I am making progress. There will be a total of 64 LEDs in 16 pillars. In each pillar there will be 4 LEDs each like this. Instead of 4 of these pillars there will be 16 pillars up there for a total, like I said, 64 RGB LEDs. If you want to see this lit up, uh, check out part one. First thing I want to mention is that this is not my original idea. The original idea is by Asher Glick and Kevin Baker, who invented the Charlie Cube. I'll put a link on the description. The only thing I'm doing different is I'm making a very tiny version of that. So here is a snippet from the data sheet for the LED, <laughs> the tiny little thing right there. <laughs> of course, inside one of these, there are three LEDs, the red, green, and blue and they all share the same anode the positive side is common and then the negative sides are for each color as you can see on the bottom and on the sides are those four pads so those four pads correspond to these four pins right here how they are wired into a pillar is really interesting so let me show you that so I have a sample pillar right here with four layers each layer of course have three LEDs so that's a total of four times three twelve LEDs in here over here, I just have an Arduino that has no sketch that's simply providing power to these two wires right here. So 5 volt, 1K, and this is now ready to drive an LED. Topmost is wired exactly like this with the plus on this side and then the other three on those other three sides. This one should be red, and that should be green, and that should be blue. Pretty simple. So that's the top layer. So the top layer has the positive on the bottom left corner. So I'm going to put that right here on the top. And the reason the other ones did not light up, remember? None of the other ones light up when you have this on. Only the top layer lights up. And the reason the other layers do not light up is because they are not arranged in the same orientation. They're actually rotated 90 degrees. So the other one is rotated like this on the second layer. It's like that. So now the plus has to be here for that to light up. So when I have the plus on this pin, nothing on the second layer will light up because there's if there's a plus here, it can't, it won't light that up. If you go here, it won't light that up. And if it goes there, it won't light that up because it's going the wrong direction here. So even though that's the correct direction, the current can't go through there because of this guy acting as a diode. However, when you put the plus over here, then we could use the other three pins to control the colors on the second layer. So let me show you that. So I'm going to put a plus on that corner now. And then so now this should be red, green, and blue on the second layer. And again, notice how none of the other layers lit up because they are not in that orientation. So the common anode part is always on one pin. So on this one pin, if this is plus, only this top layer will work. If it is on that pin, right there with that positive over here these other ones on that layer and so on and so forth so with that principle we can now control all 12 LEDs using just four Arduino pins like I said I did not invent this I learned all this from Azure Glick pretty cool huh mm -hmm. 